Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? Here's little kitty cat. This is little Addy cat. She's gotten so big. Let's see. <laughs> she has a very fluffy tail. She's kind of a fluffy kitty. She's a little stinker though. Yes, she's still pretty um, feisty. Not, she's, uh, she's more aggressive with my husband because he plays really rough with her. But uh, she's a sweet little naughty girl. I love her so much. Isn't she cute? <laughs> she's like, put me down, mommy. She's not really trying hard to get away. If she wanted to, she could be real mean. But anyway, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are all nice and warmed up now. This uh, cold weather's gone. We're heading into some spring-like weather here anyway. All our trees are in such sad shape though. Nothing's blooming, nothing's green, everything froze. So we'll see how they all turn out. We're supposed to get in the 80 degrees this week. I can't believe it, but I think by Friday, it's gonna be in the 80s. It's about 72 outside today. So it's pretty nice outside. I've been doing readings all day, so I haven't been outside at all. <laughs> My husband's like, he changed our room around. Y'all can see the back of it again. It's completely changed around again. <laughs> Yesterday, he told me, uh, I think I'm going to change our bed again. So our bed used to be on this side, and now it's on this side. This is actually where it goes. That's where it was originally. And then my husband got a wild hair and wanted to change things around. That's just, he's a Gemini, so he likes things switched around all the time. And I'm a Taurus, and I like everything the same. So anytime he starts switching things around, I start crying. <laughs> I have so much junk in this room, y'all, because I do Etsy and eBay and everything. And so I have all kinds of stuff. I have 500 items on Etsy. So you know I have all kinds of stuff here. And he wants to move everything around. So when we did that, I compiled, I said, you know what? I need to have a garage sale. I'll put all this in a garage sale. This is going in the trash. You would not believe how much trash I got out of this room. I didn't even realize I had that much trash in here. <laughs> all kinds of boxes and everything that I didn't need. So it was good. We did a good cleaning of the room because I have a table here and I had a lot of stuff underneath the table and underneath my desk too. Every time I get a box, I think I could reuse this and I put it under my desk, you know, and it just stays there. Because I buy boxes to actually send out. So, but I always think, I might need that box for something. I have a whole bunch in the garage. I stack them all up. You know, um, try to be green and reuse things. But anyway, our room is all is changed back around. I used to have, in, when I first started doing readings, I was here in the front where this bureau is. And now I'm right here. I have three windows right in front of me. So it looks kind of whitish. I don't know how I'm going to work with the light here. So I'm kind of getting all washed out here because I got a lot of light on me. I only have one of the blinds open though. But anyway, everything's good. Um, we're doing fine. I hope you guys are doing fine too. I just wanted to take a look and uh, see like what's going on here. Y'all heard all about Megan and Harry. They're all over the news. They, that's all they're talking about. They had their interview done. I was it was it Sunday night, I think, and they're still talking about it. They talked all about it Monday. They're talking about it today. They're going on and on. Well, it's, it's a big thing to talk about, though. Um, and uh, it's funny, Megan and Harry called call it the institution. So I don't know. I guess that's what it is. It is an institution, and so they just call it the institution. So I was just trying to. I asked my guides what's going on with them, you know, and what I'm getting with them is the institution put the squeeze on Megan and Harry. This, this was, you know, purposely done. They really wanted to oust them. They wanted them to leave. They wanted them to get out. You know, I, I felt that the queen was like, um, She's like, I'm not going to be here much longer anyway. She's kind of like cut herself off. You know what I mean? She's like, she's like not interested in 
getting in the middle of it. And that, and I'm like, that's her grandson, you know, that's her grandson. Harry's her grandson. But she's just like, she's like, I'm just done. She's like done. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I'm getting. She's just like done. And, uh, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. But, um, it's, it's because of Megan's mother being a person of color at all. That's all it has some, you know, because they don't want, they don't want anybody in, you know, anybody with color in their skin around them. It's stupid. It's just crazy. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But this was done to them purposely. They ousted them purposely when he decided to marry her. Then that you know it became like that, that that's what they were going to do they were never going to accept her and everything is going to move forward they purposely made her feel uncomfortable and want to leave you know what i mean i don't know i i i feel like you know maybe they were putting pressure maybe to see if they would divorce or she would leave or something i don't think they ever really thought Harry would leave with her, you know, but he is a strong man. He is a strong man and he stood up for his wife and left with his wife. So yeah, you know, what she, what they have said is completely the truth. You guys, it's completely the truth. And, uh, you know, it, it's really sad what's happened to them. They're going to be fine. They're going to be okay. But, you know, racism isn't just in the United States. It's all over the place. And it's so sad. It's so ridiculous. It's so awful that we're, we still have to deal with racism, you know? All right. Um, Merrick Garland. So he still hasn't been confirmed, but I'm getting that he's going to be confirmed. Yes, he will be confirmed. He will be, you know, head of the justice department. And things are going to get very, very juicy. You know, I'm sure when you guys think about him and see him and what you know of him, that he has a whole lot of integrity and he's a straight arrow. But this is what I'm getting. He does want revenge. He does. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy he wants revenge. He does want revenge. Not revenge just to get somebody, um, not just to go after somebody just for the heck of it. He wants revenge because of the wrongdoings, you know what I mean? He wants revenge on the Republicans that are doing wrong things to, to our country. And yeah, he does, you know, have a bone to pick with them for not letting him become a Supreme Court judge. So yes. And Mitch McConnell was the person that stopped it. And yes, 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 yes. He does have it in for him. He really does. It's not like he's going to make up things. He won't have to make up things. All he has to do is go by the books and, you know, but yes, he plans on going forward and getting revenge. He does. And that's why they're not, um, confirming him right away. That's what they're worried about. And they should be, you know, it's karma, baby karma. Things come back to bite you in the butt. When you do something, it will, you know, it'll make its way back to you sooner or later in one way or another. And what about Elaine Chow, uh, Mitch McConnell's wife? Uh, take a look at her and see, um, if she's going to be indicted, I'm getting a yes. I'm hearing a yes on being indicted, that she she will be indicted. Let's take a look at her. Let's lay out some cards for her. So I just want to see what's going to happen with her situation. You know, let's take a look at it real quick.
Okay. All right, guys. So the first card that I pulled is the star card in the reverse position. So she's really worried and she has a lot to be worried about. The situation is looking very hopeless. Look at this. Next card, justice. Justice will be served. Justice is coming for her, definitely. And the world is watching. And not only the world is watching, but this is, um, you know, her world is about to completely change the way that she knows it. It's like uh, she's moved on to the next phase of her life. And she's had a really comfortable, good, happy life. She's, you know, she's done a lot. And she's had a great life. She really has. Huh. The tower. This is the foundation of her situation. I'm sorry, Elaine, but shit is about to hit the fan. Her life is going to be upside down and chaotic. Yeah. Here's the past position, the Ten of Cups. This is, you know, she had everything going for her in her life. She was so happy. She's, you know... She has everything that anybody could ever want, honestly, you know, and, you know, she's a, she's a celebrity in China. She is, she's a celebrity. She has it all. She's got money, fame, you know, power, she has it all. And, you know, oh, that's a cat. <laughs> the cat jumped up here. It scared me. <laughs> the last card I pulled for her is the devil card. So she's got the devil on her. This is all about um, self-sabotage, you know? She has everything going for her. She didn't have to do this, but, you know, it's when I see the devil card, it always reminds me of bad behavior and self-sabotage, being a slave to money, misusing her position, you know, and it's going to be all karma. So when you behave badly, Karma comes back to bite you in the butt. So she's got the devil on her. That's what the devil means to me. And that's how I read it. And here's my kitty back here again. <laughs> she likes to get in the middle of all the readings. When I put the cards out, she wants to get them and, and uh, sniff at them and chew them and bite them. <laughs> all right, guys, I have a husband waiting for me. And it's getting close to five o'clock in the evening. And I've been doing readings all day. <laughs> So I'm going to say goodbye for now. So let me put her down. Let me put her down. If I have anything here, she loves this. Look, she loves my pendulum. She's knocked it down so many times. I was sending an amethyst to somebody. I took it out. I was about to put it on a chain and, and put it in a package. And she, she knocked it on the floor and broke it. That was last week. She's such a little stinker. She is so playful. She's so playful. I finally found some treats that she likes. Um, those little, uh, I think they're called greenies or something for breath. She likes those. Thank goodness. <laughs> she won't get down. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to tell y'all something funny before I, before I let you go. I'm about to let you go. So me and my husband were in Walmart yesterday getting a few things. Uh, she only likes a certain kind of food because she's a cat. I mean, she'll eat anything that I'm eating. She'll eat it. Definitely. If I have it, she'll eat it. She loves people food. Uh, but I've been giving her, um, I've been giving her dry food in the mornings and at night. I give her half a can of the Friskies kitten in a can. Little, no, it's not Friskies. It's a uh, Oh, it's not that. It's not Friskies. It's something else. Another canned food. I can't even think of it now. She's biting my hand. <laughs> anyway, I give her a little can of cat food. It's kitten. And my H-E-B never has it. Uh, and uh, I had to go to Walmart to go get it. So I was at H-E-B and I thought, well, I'll just get her the adult one instead of the kitten. How different can it be? It's that little pate can. Look at this is what she's doing to me, y'all. She's just biting the crap out of me. I mean, she don't bite me hard, but she's she's being a stinker. Come on, get down. Anyway, so I buy her. I bought her um, 
the adult food. And it, it looks like the same can and everything. The only thing different I can see in it is it has the kitten milk and the kitten formula. I got to see what kind it is. I went and got the can. It was bugging the crap out of me. I couldn't think of it. Fancy feast. So I give her this little can. I, I'll just give her half of it in the mornings. She wakes me up at five o'clock to eat half a little can of food. It's only five ounces. So I got her the adult one because I couldn't find the kitten one. She did not like it, y'all. She would not eat it. I felt so bad. I don't, she acted so weird. She did this, um, when I put it in her little plate, I, I gave her a little plate, put it in there. And she was like this scratching on the side, not scratching at the food, but scratching on the side like this, scratch, scratch. What does that mean? Why does she do that? She was acting so weird. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And she didn't want it. She didn't like it. So she was just telling me, I, I don't know. She's that's, is that how they show they don't like something? <laughs> And then that evening, I tried to give her the other half, and she was like, I already told you I didn't like that, you know, and I felt so bad for her. So I have a, I buy, I don't buy them by the can, I buy them by the case, you know, so I have like 11 more of these in the adult one. I guess I'm going to give it to my daughter. She has kittens, cats, not kittens. Anyway, so what, I know what she doesn't like. She didn't, you know, I've got her all kinds of snacks, little, you know, the little treats that you can buy. She doesn't like any of them. And then the little greeny ones I saw for breath because she has kitty breath and it's sometimes so stinky. That really works. That helps a lot. That freshens up her breath really good. And thank goodness she likes them. It could be that her um, taste is changing a little bit. Anyway, she's back here again. I... I just brought her in here so that you could see her for the reading. But let me tell you what, <laughs> it, when I'm doing readings, I can't leave her here. I can't let her be here at all. She will not let me do a reading. She just wants to be in my face, get something. If, uh, if I try to go back to sleep now, remember she was climbing up my lamp. We changed our room around uh, and uh, we took our lamps down. So our lamps aren't there by the bed anymore. So, but she'll get up on the bureau and she just starts throwing everything off the bureau. <laughs> Y'all should see what she's doing. She's actually grabbing everything. She's being so naughty. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Love you so much. If you'd like to get a reading with me, just look down below and uh, that's my email. Get to, we'll get together and do a reading. Okay. All right. Bye guys. Love y'all so much. Do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. <laughs>